thanks for watching and welcome to episode 17 of Racing Junior. So if you recall in the last episode we were working on some mechanical parts and the bit is done so now we're going to go back to the bodywork. Uh, the car was all in red primer so the next stage is to apply some high build filler and so we can prepare the bodywork for the final color. Later on we will also see the color um, being painted. So after trying some parts like seats and the pedals uh, we had to drill some extra holes and we covered them in primer. So now the next stage is to seal all the joints where the panels meet like these. So we're going to take some seam sealer uh, adapted for metal and just go all over the joints. job after applying the sealer from the tube we're just smudging it with our finger and it's very important to wear gloves for this job use uh, for the gray filler. This is a hardener based paint so it is more toxic than regular cellulose paint. Uh, so I prepared uh, the right respirator for the job. To mix the paint we will need five parts of paint, one part of hardener and 20% of the mixture of thinner. We're preparing area by area for the gray filler. We started with the cabin and the trunk area, and now we're going to paint the roof and the engine bay. So after painting the high build filler um, on the inside, we applied some seam sealant where the panels meet. We left it a little bit wide uh, to offer better seating. So next we will apply the uh, seam sealant into the engine bay. And as you can see we added some tape strips here to prevent the excess from falling onto the sides and it's quite difficult to clean. So I'd like to end the engine bay to look more neat uh, without having too much sealer spread all over the place. So now we're getting ready to paint the stone guard on the inner wheel wells. Um, we noticed that the mounts are in the way here, so what we're going to do is shift them on the inside, uh, which will be painted uh, in gloss. So to support the body, we use the chain block, which we prepared earlier uh, when I was fixing the garage. And we took the weight of the car with the chains. 
So what we'll do is we'll take off the brace and put those mounts on the, on our, on the inner side. So here we move the mounts uh, from the fender wells into the engine bay. We had to grind a little bit the corner there as it touched against the cross member, but it was just like a couple of millimeters clearance that was needed. The rest of the car is now masked up and the areas that are exposed will be covered in a uh, stone guard. So finally we're at one of the most exciting parts of any restoration and that is to start applying some final color. The most obvious choice would have been to paint it alpha red which is, it looks great on these cars, however I wanted something that would stand out a little bit more. Uh, for most of the build I was thinking of painting the car in ochre yellow, however I had a little bit of a change of heart when I saw the Alphaholics car that was released uh, a few months ago. Uh, it was painted in bluette AR506 and I just thought it looks great. It looks timeless yet sporty but uh, classic. So some things to watch out for when painting the final color is that it's very different from the undercoat and primer. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot more overspray around the room and it's more susceptible to uh, attracting dust. So what we did is we added some plastic sheets uh, to make a kind of makeshift paint boot. And I also recommend wearing a painter's suit. So the first time with, I didn't paint without it and all my back was blue. And this is just the result of painting a couple of times in, uh, under, in the finished blue. So now we're about to paint uh, the trunk area. What we did is we masked up any holes that can lead to the other side and prevent overspray from going on the side that's already painted. So as 
we were preparing some other areas for finish, uh, we noticed that the overspray from the other parts uh, laid a thin layer and is acting as a guide coat. In fact, here where the area was taped, we can see a difference in color. preparing the engine bay for paint. Uh, so what we did is we took the foam bag, 400 uh, grade sandpaper, and just went over the rough edges, like here, and sanded it till it's all uh, smooth and grey. So finally we finished all the preparation for the engine bay, and we're about to paint it. Uh, it's just worth noting to mask all the holes as over spray can get through. We also covered up the rest of the car with this uh, thin plastic layer.